It is apparent that I'm at a undisclosed location and I need to get on that rig and get way up there to change that fire sprinkler pipe. All of it needs to come out because it's rusted and that's 24 feet of pipe. So they had two leaks here, that one way up there and in this airplane hanger and they had one in the bathroom and of course it was just the head but then you pull the head yeah it's all rusted so i need to change the nipple i don't know what's going on up there but it's never easy in an airplane hanger damn it jim damn it all right let's get to work get to work i need to stick a drop through here and it won't fit up through there because there's so many studs. So here's what I had to do. Wish me luck. I'll walk up slow and try to hook it up. Let's take a gander here. Uh, cramping up again. Yeah, I gotta fit that. Oh, good neighbor. If you can hear that, yeah, you hear that. And if you're a sprinkler fitter, you know what that sounds like. Get the shadow out of the shot. There you go. Bleed that air out. It's always good to bleed the air out when you install new pipe way up high like that. And uh, you can tell what piece of pipe I replaced because it's black and the rest are white. So I will bleed that air out of there and try not to get the plane in the shot. I've gotten in trouble for taking videos in airplane hangers before. Now let's take a look at this thing. This thing was a booger. I'll tell you why. You think it's just the head and of course it's the pipe. So you pull the pipe out. Who's that? Who is that? YouTube star? No. All right. So you pull the pipe out and you stick another piece of pipe in the hole and it doesn't fit because the studs are tight around the whole thing. So let me show you the piece of pipe that I had to tear out. And boy, it should have gave you a clue. Yeah, the air's still coming out there. But let's look at this thing. That right there is what I pulled out. And I don't know what kind of bell reducer. One by three quarter with a bushing. And where it was leaking, well, it wasn't up here at the threads. It must have been down there at the bushing. Maybe right there. I don't know. Damn it, Jim. You got me a lot of trouble, but... Here we go, let's get the water back on. Still bleeding air. Nice and slow, you wanna fill these things. All right. So with that, we'll go turn this water all the way on and I'll give you a, a do in a minute. Thank you for keeping me alive, Mark. Lift. Air is out. Oh, I don't like these inspector's test valves. These things suck. Because the handle breaks on them. That little thing right there. Pain in the butt. But today it seems to work. <laughs> Gotta get lucky sometime. Well, howdy ho, good neighbor. I'm in the dark but I see the light. That's right. Today is day eight. Five plus four, eight. In the dark, but see the light. So let me uh, sharpen this pencil. Eight minus 40 is 32. So there you go. I turned eight today. Seems like forever. Okay, peace, love. And that blindy jazz. <laughs>